Hi, hello, excellent slides here. We create excellent presentations. Please remember to like and share this video and subscribe our valuable channel. You can also follow our social media. In this video, I will teach you how to create fully clickable buttons in PowerPoint. All right, so, so let's get started. As you can see on this slide, uh, we have uh, three buttons. Uh, and on the first view, um, you could think that they are three the same, but I will, I will show you the difference. As you can see, the colors, the fonts, uh, of course, are the same. Uh, these three buttons have fully rounded corners. And this is the first button. So as you can see, if I hover uh, on this button, as you can see, this is the preview of our link that we are about to enter. So in this case, uh, it is excellentslides.com, so our website, uh, our front, front page. Um, yeah, so um, I think, um, all right, so maybe for the first step will be to create these buttons. So uh, as you can see, this is uh, just a rectangle with rounded corners. So yeah, so let's do so. Go to the insert tab here in shapes. And here you have a normal rectangle with sharp edges. But right here, you have rectangle rounded corners. So select this one. All right, so as you can see, the default formatting uh, of this shape is really ugly. So we have to get rid of this really ugly blue old line. So select this shape, go to the shape format, shape old line, and just choose no old line. All right, and also as you can see, uh, here we have this orange, orange oval. And with this orange oval, we can adjust roundness of our shape. So as you can see, in this case, it's fully sharp. And in this case, it's fully rounded. So yeah, let's let's place it like, like this. And also we have to take the exact color. So the easiest way to do so uh, is to use eyedropper. So go to the shape fill. Here you have eyedropper. So just click it. And take this, uh, take this blue, uh, this light blue color. Perfect. So the next thing is to adjust the size of our button. So let's do so. It's really easy. All right. And now the height. Yeah, perfect. So now we have to enter our text. So go to the insert tab, and let me yeah here. Here, this is a text box, so just draw your text box. And I decided to insert ju just an easy text. Click me. Ah, uh, yeah, it's kind of catchy text. All right. And of course, font is Montserrat and 32 of, of font size. So let's do the same. All right, of course, it's uh, perfectly aligned to the middle and to the center. All right, so as you can see, we have this button. So this button contains of two shapes. Uh, this is our, our rectangle, and here, this is our text. So we can, of course, group these shapes. So just let's do so. Uh, Control and G. As you can see right now, this is only a group, so let's kind let's say kind of one shape. So how to create this link? This link that will let us to be converted to our website. You have to go to the insert tab, and yeah, and as you can see right here, this is a link option. But as you can see also, uh, this is grayish. That's because we cannot add links in PowerPoint to groups. So yeah, we have to regroup these shapes. So Control Shift and G. And as you can see, now we can uh, select 
this blue rectangle and now we can use a link so just click it as you can see uh yeah just click this one and as you can see we have some options we can choose email addresses we can uh, choose create a new document place in this document etc etc uh, but the most usually you will be using just uh, a conversion to a web page so here in address just type your address so https excellent slides dot com all right uh, when you are ready just click ok perfectly so as you can see now we are in edit edit mode view and if i hover on this shape as you can see the new window pop up and if i want to open this website just click control and click on this on this shape but the next way and i think the better way to create links in powerpoint is to use transparent uh, transparent objects and i will show you what i mean as you can see on this in this case uh, we have the same button but like i said to you before we cannot add links to groups but you can place an rectangle on top of this button set transparency to 0% uh, sorry to 100% and as you can see this rectangle is not visible if i set it to 100% and we just need to add uh, we just need to add link to this rectangle to the rectangle that is not visible so yeah there are plenty uh, plenty ways to create uh, clickable buttons but yeah you you can choose uh, one of those ideas that i said you all right so maybe let's preview it so this is our slide slide number two and if i hover on this button on this shape as you can see uh, the link pop up right so just click it and as you can see right now our web browser will launch and as you can see now we have been converted to the same website that i inserted right here so i think it's really great feature you can use it in your personal projects let's say uh, on the last slide you would like to add some contact forms and you can add a button that will convert other people to your website for instance right yeah and by the way uh, this is our website and and if you are more interested in powerpoint design uh, and presentation design i recommend you to read our articles on our blog we are trying to write out three articles per week so i think everyone will find something valuable all right so thank you guys for watching please subscribe our channel and like this video below if you have any questions just write a comment and yeah have a great day and lead a happy life excellent slides